Any kind of a uh, uh, team you're trying to build, high performance team, does that look familiar? So when I was a grand counsel of Sigma Chi back in 2005, we actually, the values were already laid out, but it was the vision, it was the same thing. Uh, also when I was chairman of Purdue, we put that in gear and, uh, you know, hired the best people. We went out, we hired the, uh, the governor of Indiana, right, former uh, 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 CFO of the United States, right, director of OMB. No, okay, now you're thinking, well, man, Croc, you're an old man, man. You're like 59 years old, man. Uh, this isn't going to work for us. Well, um, I think it's timeless. And a way to think about that is look back in the past. I mean, is this timeless? So, so uh, I gave a very similar talk to this back in 2006 over uh, across the bay with the Berkeley guys. Now, when I walked in that place, I think I dropped the average IQ by about 20 points, but um, that's right, I gave that site. Now, check this out. So, I'm gonna take you back 20 years ago, because exactly 20 years ago, we started Ariba. And if you wanna see following the same formulas, the same playbook, watch this. Because this, this is the first PowerPoint slides I ever made. In the early days, right when we started Ariba, we called it ProcureSoft. After about a week, we found out you can't use that name because it doesn't mean a good thing in some European countries. Uh, the agent for the purchasing agent, All right? So this was our playbook. This is 1996, probably the only PowerPoint I did by myself. Does that look familiar? Vision, mission, values, team rules, long-term goals, strategy, execution. Vision? It was just to build a great sustaining company in the 21st century. By the way, later on, that became the Ariba Network. Mission, be the leader in operating resource management software for B2B e-commerce. So our initial beachhead is what we affectionately call ORM. We created that category. Then we created B2B e-commerce. But the point here is you always got to be the leader. All right? Values, familiar? How about these team rules? Those are verbatim. From DocuSign, this was 20 years ago. Long-term goals. Grow profitably and predictably. I learned you need market power. Had a chance to buy our biggest competitor at Ariba. Should have done it. Uh, we, by the way, we put them out of business. They went bankrupt, right? Focus on the customer. And how are we going to compete? Out focus. I'll think, I'll execute. Now, check out this strategy slide. Now, this was the number one PowerPoint slide in 1999. This is when all these companies went public. And I was just with Mary Meeker uh, over at Kleiner. She was, the, uh, she was the internet analyst at Morgan Stanley. She was on the cover of Fortune Magazine three times. And this was the number one slide of any roadshow pitch. Does that look familiar? <laughs> it's the tornado slide, right? Create the category, ORM. Then the question is, you know, wasn't like, do we go after uh, the businesses or the consumers? For us, it was, do you go after the buyers or the suppliers? Guys with the golden rule, go after the buyers, then the suppliers, create the network, then monetize it. So maybe I never had an original thought in my life, man, or in the last 20 years. But um, the formula uh, works. Now, look at Ariba today. This just came out. Ariba just put this out, uh, uh, when was it, two weeks ago, this last week. It's Ariba Network. One trillion of commerce on the Ariba Network. They're putting on one supplier uh, every minute and building that out. There's a DocuSign Global Trust Network. 100, 100 and, uh, now it's up to 120 million unique users. All right, creating a standard. Boom. So, in terms of achieving escape velocity, uh, is, it all comes back to uh, jumping in water you know, over your head. And 
and uh, and there and there are certain formulas that are timeless in terms of finding the right opportunity and building a high performance team. Thank you.